Yes, hello everyone. I welcome all of us to this fifth day of our Stations of the Cross. We shall never be tired. We shall never be wearied. We are following Christ crucified. We thank God for the good day, for the good health of mind and body, for bringing us to a new day. We bless his name. And we continue to pray for ourselves, for individual families, for those who requested for our prayers in a more special way. We put all of them today in our prayers. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. Fifth station, the Cyrenian helped Jesus to carry his cross. We adore thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, and bless thy holy name, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And there you will see this fifth station, explanation from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 15, verse 21. And also from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 10, from verse 24 to 25, and then verse 28. Here we we'll reflect on how the Jews, seeing that at each step Jesus was on the point of expiring and fearing he would die on the way when they wished him to die the ignominious death of the cross, constrained Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross behind our Lord. Our most beloved Jesus, we will not refuse the cross as the Cyrenian did. We accept it. We embrace it. We accept in particular the death thou hast destined for us, with all the pains which may accompany it. We unite it to thy death. We offer it to thee. Thou hast died for love of us. We will die for love of thee. Help us by thy grace. We love thee, Jesus, our love above all things. We repent with our whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit us to separate ourselves from thee again. Grant that we may love thee always, and then do with us what thou wilt. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Let us pray. Stand by your people, O Lord, who place all their trust in your mercy. Wash away the stain of our sins. 
make us live in your presence our whole life long and bring us to the inheritance you have promised us. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once more. Join us tomorrow for the sixth station. Remain blessed.